Hi guys, tonight we're looking at the Joyo pipe bomb compressor. This is part of the Joyo Iron Man series. So rather than doing my split screen with the two uh, with the two movies going, I thought I'd do something a little different here because I like what this compressor is doing with drive stages. So what I've got here is I've got a, um, all my overdrives. I've got the Joyo Little Blaster, which is kind of like my, my main mid to high gain tone. I've got the, the Joyo Old School, which has got more of a um, more of a classic rock, 70s rock kind of tone. I've got it set up for more of a, a mild kind of a kind of a, a deeper sort of tone uh, with the overdrive settings. Um, I've got the good old standard ultimate overdrive from Joyo, which has a little bit more of a mid-range tone to it. And then the Joyo Vintage Overdrive, which is basically just going to be pushing these guys, maybe not so much the blaster because he's got lots. But what I want you to see though is how the compressor really brings out the tone that you're going to hear. Okay, so a quick word about how we're setting this up. Um, I've got my guitar plugged right into the compressor directly. Now I did that on purpose um, because I did not want the compressor changing the signal uh, outside of my direct signal. What I mean by that is I want to feed all I can into my system and then control it from there. What a lot of people sometimes do when they're doing compressors, when they're using compressors, is they'll actually make it connect after the volume. And for me, I had a problem with that because the compressor will try to increase the signal while I'm trying to decrease the signal with the volume. Um, if you've ever used tube amps or a tube type of preamps, you know when you roll the volume back, you get that really nice kind of um, half gain sort of blooming kind of sound, uh, which is really, really nice. And when you plug in the compressor after the volume, well, it's, they're going to kind of fight with each other. And so that's why I hooked it up before the volume, and it, this works really well because, again, the compressor is bringing all the tone it possibly can out of my guitar first, and it's really what I want. Um, this way it works a lot better when you're doing volume swells so that um, you, can, you don't have to worry about the compressor changing the signal at all once, it's, once it hits the, the volume. So you still have lots of control with volume swells and with that half gain kind of tone that you get on the preamp. So let's uh, kick this compressor around a little bit. I'm going to be engaging different drive stages and playing while I'm doing this. And I'm going to be turning the compressor on and off. So let's check it out. All right, so let's uh, let's kick this around a little bit. So just a regular clean tone here. Okay. So I'm just going to be hitting uh, the different drives at different stages. Okay, I'm not going in any particular order. Uh, so let's take a listen.